Are you ready? You ready? Let's go All right, so here we go. This highly anticipated fight is now underway. Looks like a classic matchup of striker versus grappler. Am I simplifying things too much? In this instance, you aren't, because this is what got these two men to the show. Right. One guy is known for his diverse attack on the feet. The other guy is known for his ability to drag the fight to the mat and put his opponents in danger from the very start of the grappling exchanges. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? A oh, little single collar tie there. And they separate. Well, you start to really worry about the wrestling, and there's that left hand from Cubby. Underrated. I mean, it's a very underrated part of his game, his ability to stand a strike with anybody in the UFC. Man, he's just got a great feel for the striking realm early in this one. The timing is on point. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Nice combination there. Both fighters exchanging the pocket here. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Nice job staying busy here on the clinch. And he caught the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Nice straight right lands. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Oh, big roundhouse attempt, but unable to land. And he landed the right hand there. Well, his opponent found an opening there to the body. Nice hook shot there. But as he leans forward in trying to get into his own striking range, he's going to pay the price there to the body. Got to be careful. You don't want to eat too many of those power hooks downstairs. Big head kick lands. 26 total strikes have now landed for Khabib Nurmagomedov. Nice loop and punch. Under three minutes now to go in the round. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Big kick land. Oh, that's a beautiful strike there by Khabib. Don't call him a one-trick pony. Don't call him a one-trick pony, John, because he isn't. He is a guy that is able to mix everything up inside the octagon. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Now he gets a more dominant position with the underhook. He is going to start to drive knees over and over. You got to be careful here. You got to move. Man, he's timing his shots nicely. It's like Tom Brady out there. He hasn't missed the target. I mean, you insist on bringing in Tom Brady. Stop it. John, stop it. Ooh, big shot lands. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Nurmagomedov gets tagged with that jab. Pretty good weapon for him tonight. We got him with this hip into that kick. You take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Good series of strikes by him there. Great job of mixing it up, staying active, keeping busy, doing great work. Huge knee land. Nice defense on the single leg takedown. You can tell he's worked on that. Oh, massive knee to the head. Knee to the body. That one landed clean. His leg is hurt here. You can see him limping a little bit. Slips the left hand. Got the single collar tie. Nice punch here. 30 seconds to go. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. 20 seconds left. Oh, beautiful jab there, man. It's like you know what's coming, can't stop it. I mean, you have to anticipate that jab coming or he will batter and bruise you with that single strike. Tags him with the left. Big 
kick lands. Round two straight ahead. All right, let's get you some highlights from that previous round, DC. I don't care how strong your core is, you can't take too many more of those body kicks. John, you can't train for that. I mean, you cannot train to take those types of body kicks. They start to really wear at your gas tank, and then you start to make mistakes. When you take that many body kicks, you start making mistakes, and before you know it, the fight's over. All right, DC, second round is getting underway. Round one, not the round of the year necessarily, but some good in there. And it's not always gonna be. When you have two very talented fighters, sometimes it's very even. That's what we saw in round two. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Oh, big head kick. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You gotta like what you're seeing this time. I mean, the speed at which he throws is crazy. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Nice leg kick lands. And there comes the separation now. Oh, collar tie. Nice take. And a nice job to stick with it there to complete the takedown. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. Got to be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Oh, the ground and pound strikes continue to rain down. The opponent better move out of harm's way or the referee's going to stop this. He better start to move. And when his opponent starts to posture, he needs to put his feet on the hip, push him away to try to escape this very, very dangerous position. Nurmagomedov gets caught with that punch. His chin is held up thus far. Got to shore up the defense here, though. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Right hand punch from the clinch. The combination lands for him. He is really putting his strikes together tonight. I mean, he's feeling himself tonight, John. He's doing a great job of putting everything together. Three minutes to go. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. If your opponent has you in the clinch, pull it down on your head, landing punch after punch, you have got to clear that collar tie, reach back inside, and try to find space. Well, he's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more. Oh! He's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, you're gonna shut your body off. You can't take many of those, you better check. Ooh, looking to go to the leg kick here, just out of range. He lands a switch. Oh, kick. beautiful knees in the clinch here. Timely defense there, huge block for him. And he continues to work the body here. Oh! Big shots exchanged in the pocket there. Jeez Louise. Oh, what a punch. 96 total strikes have now landed for Khabib Nurmagomedov. And landing with 40% accuracy tonight against Khabib Nurmagomedov. Such a fast leg kick. Got clipped with the right hand. All right, single collar tie now. He lands a big knee to the body. Look at him chopping the wood. That one appeared to stun him. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh, he might be out. Every time these guys come together, man, you just hear the punches and everything landing. Both, both very powerful, very, very explosive. Oh, big left hook there. Oh, that's a nice strike. 
Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab. He may throw the right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's got to be confident that he's going to land, and he's got to really throw his whole entire body into the strike. Beautiful leg kick throw. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You like this guy. I like this guy a ton. And to watch him punch, I just put the smile on my face. Right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Good series of strikes for him there, staying busy and staying active. I mean, the accuracy is unbelievable. All right, well, his kicking game was outstanding in that round. We'll see if his opponent can make the adjustments, but take us through the replays before we get there. It's always weird to watch a young fighter start to come into his own. Early in his career, he did not have this ability. He did not have the ability to dictate and control fights with his legs. Now he does, and he looks like a future champion in the making. All right, so back-to-back -back entertaining rounds. We'll see how it goes in this round. We'll see which corner sort of maximize those 60 seconds on the screen. This is what happens in very skilled, very good match fighters coming together. Nobody has really taken a lead in Whoa! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, you can feel the breeze there. Swing and a miss by Nermago Medoff. Now a knee. And they separate. Visibly limping here. Nice punch from Andrew on the top. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. All right, so a high amplitude double leg takedown there. Now we'll see what he can do with it to try to advance position on the ground. You knew that he was going to attack the double because he's such an explosive guy. He got it on the hips, finished the shot very quickly. Fantastic job. Man, this is some serious ground and pound. He's trying to put this dude's head, like, through the canvas. He's one of the better ground and pound fighters we have in the entire UFC, and you're seeing why. Outstanding combination of ground and pound punches here by Nermago Medoff. Able to land a single ground strike there. Well, this is exactly what you like to see. Nice combination of ground and pound punches. Outstanding pressure and activity by Nermago Medoff. Now potentially working on a submission instead He's attack on bar now. You gotta recognize that when a guy starts to put his feet on your hips, you gotta move him off and you gotta cover. You can't be off to an angle. Now he falls back into the finishing position. it done by submission tonight, champ. He was able to get the fight to the ground exactly where he wanted it. Eventually, his opponent gave him an opportunity to get a submission. He did that, and he should be very proud of the work he did tonight in the octagon. So there he is, your winner by submission tonight, and that is how you put the rest of the division on notice. A huge result for him here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mugliano is going to stop to this contest at 2 minutes, 10 seconds of the third round. For the winner by submission, Khabib Nagibola All right, so what a performance by this young man here tonight as he gets the win by way of submission. He certainly put a lot of stock into getting the finish tonight, and he did just that. Congratulations. It was very tough fight. 
but he knew that if he did everything right, he can get to his position, which is the ground, and he would be able to find a finish by submission tonight. He did just that.